Hello everyone. Welcome to the video series on pharmacological classification of drugs. In this video, I will explain the drug classification of bactericidal agents and bacteriostatic agents. Now let us understand these terms. Side means to kill. So bactericidal agent is an agent which kills the bacteria. Stat means to stop the growth. See, in case of bacteria, stopping the growth means stopping the multiplication of bacteria. So a bacteriostatic agent inhibits the multiplication of bacteria. It will not allow the bacteria to multiply. But as such, bacteria will survive. The agent cannot kill the bacteria. So that is bacteriostatic agent. Let us see one by one. Bactericidal agent. There are different classes are there. Class 1, cell wall inhibitors. Understand the concept. Cell wall is very essential for the bacterial survival. Whenever a bacteria gets into human cell, it will face adverse environment like osmotic gradient, pH, enzymes like lysozyme. All of them can kill a bacteria. To protect itself from all these adverse environment, bacteria has developed a tough cell wall. If the cell wall is ruptured, if the cell wall is broken down, bacteria cells will die. So cell wall inhibitors are very prominent bactericidal agents. Now all beta-lactam antibiotics, the mechanism of action is they inhibit cell wall. Beta-lactam beta -lactam inhibitors are penicillins, cephalosporins, monobactam and carbapenem. All of them are bactericidal agents. Along with that, phosphomycin, vancomycin, bacitracin. All these three drugs are also bacterial cell wall inhibitors. So they can be considered as bacteriocidal agents. Now, the next group is DNA inhibitors. Bacterial DNA, if it is fragmented, bacterial cells will die. Classes are fluoroquinolones. Uh, drugs like norfloxacillin, ciprofloxacillin, moxifloxacillin, levofloxacin, all these floxacin belong to fluoroquinolones. They break down DNA and cause the death of bacteria. Along with that, metronidazole and tinidazole also affects bacterial DNA. Hence, they also cause bacterial cell death. Now, after this, there are certain agents which will attack bacterial cell membrane, polymyxin B and cholestin. See, polymyxin B and cholestin, they cause rupture of cell membrane. When cell membrane is ruptured, cell permeability increases and bacterial cell internal contents will go out and bacterial cell death occurs. So these drugs will inhibit cell membrane and cause bacterial cell death. Now the last class is certain protein synthesis inhibitors also cause bacterial cell death like aminoglycosides. Aminoglycosides like streptomycin, natalmycin, gentamicin, amikacin, all of them they cause wide range of protein synthesis inhibition in bacteria and cause cell death. Along with that, there is a specific combination of streptogramin is there, quinupristine, dolphopristine. This combination also causes cell death and this combination also causes protein synthesis inhibitors. So we have seen four major classes of bactericidal agents, cell wall inhibitors, cell membrane inhibitors, DNA inhibitors and protein synthesis inhibitors. Now coming to bacteriostatic agents. Now in this, the rest of protein synthesis inhibitors, they block the multiplication of bacteria hence they cause bacteriostatic action. Protein synthesis inhibitors like chloramphenicol, tetracycline, macrolides, linozolid, lincosamide. All these drugs are protein synthesis inhibitors act as bacteriostatic agents. Along with that you have another class known as anti-metabolites. Sulfa drugs, sulfonamides, dapsone, paraminosalicylic acid and trimethoprim. All of them are antibiotics which acts as and uh, bacteriostatic agents. So this is about bactericidal agents and bacteriostatic agents. Thank you for watching this video.